Cancer society is a mob, threatening to trample the viewer a crude, ugly, chaotic, dehumanized sea of masks, frauds, clowns, and caricatures. Public, historical, and allegorical figures, along with the artist's family and friends, make up the crowd. The title, Christ's Entry into Brussels in 1889, is surprising, for a number of reasons. This is first and foremost because it is called Christ's Entry, but it is not immediately obvious where Christ is in the painting. It feels a bit like playing Where's Waldo? We might notice the banner Long Live Jesus, King of Brussels, before we even locate the main subject. Then eventually, we spot Jesus, haloed and riding a donkey, a great distance from the painting's focal point in the interest of the Bruxellois. Who is Ensor's Christ? Is he not a king, even the eternal king of kings? And if he is a king, why is he not out in front leading the procession? Certainly this would seem normal when Ensor's work is compared with paintings of other kings entering Belgian cities. In this historical painting, completed about 10 years before Ensor's masterwork, Charles V is shown entering Antwerp in a joyeuse entrée, a triumphal entry meant to confirm his sovereignty and his intent to rule justly. Notice how the people surround him with welcome and adoration. His father was actually rather academic, but uh, James actually abandoned an academic course of life around 15 uh, and actually went for art at a very early age. The skate from 1880 shows kind of the peculiarity that he enjoys in his compositions and uh, again Ostad is on uh, what we would think of as the coastline so the skate in of itself isn't unusual but uh, how it's positioned in his still life with these other objects gives us a sense of the peculiarity that we'll find later. Uh, we continue with the bourgeois salon and here we have this wonderful example of one of his paintings where it seems he's paying as much attention to the carpet and the walls as he is the